The memory appears to be fragmented. How much time has passed? A few months, I think. That virus is cutting off our access to complete memories. The readable, but messy. The Seven Years' War will soon break out in the colonies. Focus on assassin interference. We'll do our best. Won't we, numbskull? So grim about the homestead, now that Miss Abigail and little Connor have passed. Hi. I've seen Achilles crying. Why shouldn't he? It's just that he doesn't look sad. He looks furious. It's unsettling. He's struggling with the loss. I know, but it's been months, and we've done little but search for this blasted manuscript and box. The chasseur has a lead on the box. We need him and Chevalier in St. John's. Chevalier too? No hope of cheering me up then. When Achilles said whoever had the artifacts would access sites of great power, what does he mean? I'm not sure I understand it myself, Shane. I had a long talk with Adam Wally about that. He believes the box can be activated to, well, project words or images. Like a magic lantern. What do you mean? You know the magic lantern shows Father Connolly put on in the church basement? The box had a candle in it, I think. He put these little glass plates in front. Then we'd see the images projected on the wall, like cathedrals in Rome. Bright and near as big as life. Ah, yeah. I suppose it is. Except that it interprets the strange language of the manuscript, too. If the plate were of a banner in Latin, we'd see it in English. How is that possible? Who knows? I fear we might never truly understand how any of the pieces of evil work. Where in the world has the most beautiful girls? I suppose it depends on your vision of beauty. A damsel from Corfu and one from Oslo are as different as chalk and cheese, but both could be lovely. See, opinions like that give a man a reputation for wisdom. Yeah, thank you. I would have just said Havana. The girls there have lusty buttocks and bosoms and feel no shame in putting them on display. But... That's no slight against our lasses from home. I suppose. I think Galway has the nicest ones. Fair and modest. Always willing to spot you a penny for an ale. You don't say. And then there's the maids I met in Lisbon. Destined for the convent they were. Dark-eyed and kindly dispositioned. If only I'd spoke Portuguese. Not that we spent much of our nights talking. Opinions like that give a man an entirely different reputation. Careful! It's quite a rough squall,
the cuts do it! As much say it as you can! We're almost there, Captain. The Chasseur will be expecting us. And Chevalier. That's a small price to pay for a lead in the precursor box.
Chevalier. What happened to your vessel? I got myself into a bit of a scrape. Sent three ship in all hand to their watery grave. The Giafu nearly followed them down. Just your fate has been better, Le Chasseur. Indeed. My sources inform me that Samuel Smith has searched far and wide, looking for answers on how to make that strange box work. He just returned from Europe. Where is he now? Refitting his schooner. If you hurry, you can catch him there. Oh, remember those blueprints? Well, I had an engineer build that marvelous weapon for your ship. Master Pucker's gun fires more shots than an artillery brigade, and twice as fast. Many thanks. Anything for my wooded friends. Then I will join you on this voyage. Then shall we, gentlemen? You are in a jovial mood, Shay. Why shouldn't I be? I have a new weapon and will soon have a chance to use it. Besides, Templars are usually well guarded, and I'm sure that Smith fellow is no exception. They also took the liberty of ordering some improvements. Morgan now has a ram to cut through ice itself. I have heard of such technology, but never witnessed its operation. What about Smith, then? Is he close by? Aye. He sails these very waters. And he may have the precursor box. Then let's find him. There he is! Most fortunate timing! Lady Luck never ceases to smile on you. He's seen us! Give chase! But hold your fire! We must not damage the box or risk losing it to the sea. Can't this bucket go any faster? At least my ship is still seaworthy, Chevalier. Fire! Samuel Smith is the Templar's treasurer. What is doing in these waters? Maybe he came here to meet someone. Or ran into your pirate. He's refitting his ship. So something must have happened. If one of my allies had Now's our chance to get him. Smith controls most of the Titlar's well, doesn't he? him out of the way. Washington entrusted the precursor box to him. He probably still has it. Shay's right. The box comes first. So we can't sink him. We'll have to board his ship or force him to beach. Look, Captain. He's cutting through the ice. It seems you're not the only one equipped with such a ram, Shay. Let us hope ours fares just as well. We're smashing the ice! It worked. The way is clear. Now, uh, once more, your fortune holds. But do not waste time congratulating yourself. Smith is getting away. It's an ambush!
I don't get see over. Smith's ship. Let's get rid of these distractions first. We'll find him. Fire! I'm glad to disappoint him. And he's still within reach. Wickedness is this! Another Templar tactic. We can cover whole stretches of ocean with their flames. Careful, Shay. We could be burnt to cinders. It's nothing more than a last desperate throw of the dice. He knows we have him. Aboard, Gavin! Pull off, lads. Loose the royals. We should count ourselves lucky to sail these waters. Barson has an encampment here. Follow him on land. Do not even think of firing the ship's weapons near that precious box. I'll take care of this. What you're doing, assassin. Your brotherhood is using you. <coughs> this cannot be. <coughs> no! Do you even know what that is? An ancient artifact. Treasure from those who came before. Yes. It matters not. <coughs> Some of the greatest scientific minds of all Europe could not make it work. <coughs> now all I need is the manuscript, and all shall be revealed. <laughs> 